address. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jolie. This is Eddie's Corner. This is a quick little gossip chat. Who said that? How many people? Some people, no people, all kinds of people. But let's discuss what's going on in the gossip of the streets of this foolishness all up and through. Okay, but y'all know first things first. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to become a whole J Bird, J Bird, Don Don, Don Don, and Don. Okay, y'all know to also y'all the links is always in the description box below for this channel and my other channel. Y'all know around here to like, comment, share, relax, send yourself in hell, all these things around here. But more importantly, like the video, okay? If you're watching the premiere of this, comment in the comment section. It's a conversation or whatever, okay? Do not forget to follow me on social media at JV's Corner, on IG, on Twitter, on TikTok, and stuff, okay? Now, I am here right now, even though it's 3.42 in the morning, but I have to get this done because I have things to do tomorrow. Well, today, because it's, it's coming today, not tomorrow. But I'm going to get y'all this one. I'm also going to have one out about Mel's interview with Miss Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly, and also Marceau's brother, who was live on IG talking major tech about the rumors between him and Miss Vance. Look, tape, okay? But this is about these things here, okay? This is what we're discussing right now. So let's get into, okay, but look, do not forget on Thursday, I will be live on my channel for a game night live chat. We used to all wait through these and have fun, fun, fun. So guess what? I'm back doing game nights. We're playing Black Car Revoke. We're playing Bad Choices this Thursday at 9.30 on JV's Corner. Come on through and whatnot, okay? Now, first things first that I want to discuss in these gossips of the street, okay, is how both Nick Cannon show and Wendy Williams show both, which are currently on break for the holiday season, has already pushed back the premieres that's supposed to come out in January. Now, all shows were supposed to come back January 3rd, but both shows posted this little screenshot, or not screenshot, posted this statement on their respective IG pages. Now, both Nick Cannon's show and Wendy's show are both ran by the same company, which is why the message is the exact same, okay? Due to the growing number of COVID-19 cases and to ensure a safe return for our crew members and staff, Nick Cannon mm -hmm, and the Wendy Williams show will now return with new episodes on Monday, January 10th, Instead of Monday, January 3rd, as previously scheduled. Now, on Wendy's announcement, it says how Michael Rapport, Kim Whitley, Vanessa Mitchell, and Sherry Shepard will guest host the shows as previously announced. Okay. And then both shows continue on to say, we will continue to observe our relevant New York City health and safety protocols and wish everyone a happy and healthy holiday season. Now, on Wendy's show, I believe they were supposed to have Fat Joe and Ruma, who were going to host that first week back. So I'm assuming that's why we don't see their names listed here, because that one week of a show has now been pushed back, so they're not needed then. Now, again, the shows are supposed to be scheduled all the way out through, I believe, February, because I'm looking at Wendy's page right now, and it was saying, yes, from January 3rd to January 7th was going to be Fat Joe and your mom. From January 10th to 14th was going to be Michael Rutherford. From January 17th through January 21st is going to be Kim Whitley and Finesse Mitchell. And then, of course, from January 24th to 28th was Sherry Shepard. Now, we have no information about what's going to happen in February. Maybe when we will be back. Maybe she won't. We don't know. What we do know is the show will not be back the first week of January week of the new year. But again, that is for health reasons, you know, because of the little you know, home girl out here wreaking havoc, okay? Wreaking havoc on F. That's look, where you at? I'm in the house with it, okay? I'm in the house with it. Look, I can wait and hang out in 2023. I ain't gonna be around. Not many folk at all. This is my just only my immediate family, and you know what I'm saying, and that's it. I gotta go to work. That's stay from around me. Get out my face. Don't come near me. Leave me be. Okay. Anyway, next up, I want to say there's new 
people around here on the Housewives of the Beverly Hills. Now, y'all know I watched the show. I reviewed most of the season. I'm going to review the full season next time. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay. Now, we know all the same cast are back. Okay. Dorito Chip is back. I don't know why. Lisa Renner back. I don't know why. I want both of them out my face, okay? They are back, but so is, you know, Sutton, so is Garcelle, so is Kyle, so is Lisa, oh, um, what's her name? It, um, same people, okay? But we have an extra person who I care to mention. There's one new full-time housewife whose name I did not care about that much or whatever, but I am happy to the Sheree, no, Sheree. Zamboni, Zambo girl, Will Smith's ex wife. Okay, I'm like, I got time because the Z A M P I N O Sheree will be a friend of on the housewives of Beverly Hills. Now, she was married to first prince of Bel Air. Okay, to that Will Smith back in 92 to 95. They have a 29 year old son. So, this is, is Will Smith's ex wife. Boom, pow, pow. Okay, now Sheree. Also was on a seasons of Hollywood actors on VH1. So she's not new to this. Okay, she's probably true to this. Now we've seen Cherie on two episodes, I believe. I think the first episode we saw with Garcelle, she was there at a little luncheon. And then one um time we also seen her at Sheree's house. Girl at Sheree's house, at Garcelle's house. So to see a second black woman be added to the Housewives of the Beverly Hills, I'm happy. Even though she's a friend of the show, I know she's not holding, you know, a diamond or whatever, but even a friend of being announced, meaning she could be a friend of this season and then next season, she'll hold the thing. Now, I hope that she will replace either Dorit or Lisa Renna or uh why am I forgetting? Now, Kathy is a, a, will be a full-time housewife, I believe, for next. No, she's going to be a friend of next season. Kathy Jones is back as well. Oh, Erica Jane. I'm like, I'm forgetting somebody, girl. Erica broke ass. So, yeah, but I hope that Sheree, or her name is not Sheree, Sheree will replace either Dorita Chip or Lisa Renna come the season after this season. Um, Because I don't mind looking for somebody a friend of role. To see what how it goes because they did that with sudden sudden was a friend of and now sudden's the whole diamond holder. I want her to hold a diamond. I need someone there who will check these women the way they need to be checked. I hope that Sheree and maybe we'll get to see Jada Pinkett Smith pop up. I don't know because you know she cool with Jada. So we shall see. So again, that's coming up for the new season of Housewives of Beverly Hills. That's one of the the white shows that I like to watch. I don't do Jersey. I don't I don't do OC no more. But Beverly Hills, I can get into it. Okay. Now also, you know, with Housewives or Bravo people and Bravo shows, Anila. Anila had posted, you know, Anila's on Married to Medicine, which is currently filming things and getting things wrapped up for their new season, which will be out sometime next year. She had posted on her IG how she was taking a little break from social media. Okay, I'm taking a break. I need a break. I need a break. I'm not what you need a break for. What's, what's a break for? And then a day or so later, she posted this, okay? On Sunday, the 19th of December, after an evening out with family, we would turn home only to find out we had been robbed of our sense of security and valuables. Vandals, vandals, come on now, vandals. Vandals broke into our home and removed irreplaceable items that have been passed down through generations. We feel so violated at this time. The police are involved in further investigation, and I encourage you to watch your surroundings and be very vigilant. I truly believe this was a plan. This was, this was planned, and my house was watched. I have security cameras all around my home, and I'm in a gar gated gr no girl. I'm in a guarded gated uh, community accountability. Um, people out here being wild and reckless. They are really fully following folks home, doing smashing grabs, breaking. And you see, the vandals, okay, the vandals broke into our home. And it's because I told y'all I had an ex boyfriend who was a whole alcoholic, broke in my house, stole all my stuff. 
stuff, okay? And I walked in my house and I was like, why did you move your TV? Where you, where you put your TV? You didn't, you didn't move your TV. And I was like, oh, I was robbed. So it is a sense of coming in your house and realizing your stuff is gone. You're like, wait a minute, did I move the couch? Why would I move my couch? Or whatever. But coming in and knowing someone has been in your house, it feels like a complete violation. And you don't feel safe. Okay, I did not feel safe until I moved out of that place a year later. Crazy, okay. So I hope whoever it was, they you because know, again they broke into Doree's house, but Doree's house was a smash and grab, and she was home. They were gone, okay. So it's like, look, and she, they're there in Atlanta, so girl. Well, we don't know which city, because they always say Atlanta, but it'd be other places. You know, I live in Decatur. I live in here or there. Okay, fine. I live in whatever. But again, we're going to hope and pray that the people who store their stuff is found, they're on camera, and they ask for the jail. Stop stealing people's stuff, okay? Stop stealing. Please and thank you, okay? Now, also, I want to get into some news we don't really care about, but I care because I want to say what happened. Tati from Black Ink Crew, New York. Y'all know I don't like Tati. I do not like Tati. Tati has always gotten on my nerve. The last few seasons, she's been worse and worse and worse or whatever. Last season, she wasn't that bad, but she's always been a lot of bark, a little bit of bite. And this time we found out someone's been her ass back. So she posted these photos on her IG a couple days ago, and she put on the little, little caption thing, I got jumped in front of my home, but I can't do nothing about it because the system is a joke. Stay safe out there. People are disgusting. She then put another picture of her face close up with more of the scratches. Thanks for love. But I'm calling in the night. If I didn't text or call you back, I'm sorry I'm hurting. She then put in another post, okay, I'm not looking for attention. I'm sincerely sharing this because the, the world is so fucked up right now and I got fucked up. I'm hurt. I'm scared. Be careful. Watch your back. And this is my thing. This is what I feel. I feel like Tati was on Black King Crew for season after season, being big, bald, and bad, and I was fighting with people. And I'm like, you are a fighter. So who, what what happened that made anybody come to your house? Who brought the pause to your front door, Tati? What happened? It's weird when someone say something happened. They don't say, like, why were they there? Why would anyone jump you? What happened? I want to know because Tati has a lot of mouth. She's always been again a lot of bark, a little bit of bite, and now it's like I don't want attention. But you're posing on social media, okay? Now when she posted these pictures, of course the blog picked it up and posted it everywhere. She then made this post, okay? Wow. Wow. Shaking my head. My post was supposed to be. I'm like, was post. It's supposed to be, it's supposed, supposed, girl, my post was supposed to be for close friends, not for the blogs, repost, but whatever. Thanks for the people who sent love and the rest of you. Wow. Wow. Y'all are exactly, y'all are exactly part of the problem in this sick ass world. Throwing up emoji. This is my thing. People say, I didn't want this to be public. This is where my close friends only don't y'all don't text it's can you only reach out and talk to your close friends on ig's close friends is that it don't you you don't know about his phone number you can't post things in an open forum okay because even to close friends means it's some multiple people who can share this shit, okay um but if i text someone it's probably more likely that that group won't share it but close friends to me on social media isn't like your your real close your real close friends it's like whatever but it's like girl you posted it on here okay and before posting you know how she's upset that anyone posted what she said, you first said, I'm not looking for attention, but I'm sharing this pic because the word is so fucked up. Well, to me, me and your close friends is probably fans of yours. Okay, or oh, 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 if she has fans. So, again, I want to know what happened. Did you post something where you weren't really the victim 
of something and now you're upset because it's out to the masses. And anything that you do not want the blog to pick up, you should not post it on Twitter, on TikTok, on IG, on Facebook, on things that will, you know, be spread and be free and stuff, okay? Now, her face looks messed up, okay? And it looked like it was a fight with someone to scratch her face up, okay? But again, what happened? Again, what happened? No, look, nobody can come to my front door and fight me. No, ma'am. <laughs> You'll get shot. Anyway, let's move on to the next little bit of information that I have. J to the Z. J to the... Anyway, um, so Jay-Z was on Twitter. Okay, and y'all know Jay-Z gonna be around like that, whatever. And, you know, uh, Alicia Keys' new album is out. And so she was on Twitter in the little Twitter room. Okay, and in the Twitter room, um, she it was I think it's called Spaces or whatever, and they were discussing verses, okay. And they was like, Oh, Jay Z, who would you want to go to in a verses or whatever? And this is what Jay Z said, We stand on that stage with me. I need this, I, I ain't gonna lie, no disrespect. I, everyone's amazing and done what they've done. No one can stand on that stage with me. I'm just telling you guys the real. I like, there's not a shot. There's not a chance in hell that anyone can stand on that stage with me for I don't know how long it is, two hours, one hour, two hours. Right. Look, mm-hmm. I, I got to stand in front of the Grammy family freestyle live. <laughs> you, no no way, one's no. ever even seen me perform that. Like You, you got to stand in front of that? That ain't going to never happen, man. Let's, let's move on from verses and let's get back to the uh, Mr. Keys album. But first, before we move on, <laughs> Hmm. So as he said, no one, no one can go up against him in verse. Let's listen again. Let's listen again. Definitely Uh-oh. have to give my husband his. Nobody. Oh, we have to play. Nobody can we stand on that stage with me. I need this. I, I ain't gonna lie. No disrespect. I, everyone's amazing and done what they've done. No one can stand on that stage with me. I'm just telling you guys the real. Like, I think. There's not a shot. There's not a chance in hell that anyone can stand on that stage with me for I don't know how long it is, two hours, one hour, two hours. Right. Look, I, I, you got to stand in front of the Grammy family freestyle live. <laughs> you, no no way, one's no. ever even seen me perform that. Like You, you got to stand in front of that? That ain't going to never happen, man. Let's, let's move on from verses and let's get back to the uh, Miss Keys album. Look, at the end of the day, I don't know who will go against Jay-Z. I don't know. Now, if I love to see him go against someone, yes. Yes, I would. But I also agree who, what rapper could go against him currently. It could have been Kanye. But Kanye, uh, you know, we could say Drake. But, uh, so it is like, well, what other rapper has a catalog that he has. I feel like anybody else probably has already went. It could have been Snoop. You know, it could it could have been Snoop because Snoop has a plethora of of songs or whatever. So I'm like, I don't I don't know who it could be. Even it would have to be a producer who plays other people's songs who they produce. So I'm like, look, Jay-Z, do a versus against yourself. Do Jay Z versus Sean Carter? I don't know. Do Jay Jay Z versus Beyonce? Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. Yes, Jay Z versus Beyonce. You know, his hits versus her hits. I think I would like to see it just because you know, see, it can be a thing. But we will see if Jay Z ever just goes ahead and gives us a versus anybody okay now let's get into devastating not devastating because it's not devastating shocking unfortunate news okay megan good and devon franklin are divorcing after nine years of marriage he filed for divorce now i was like oh me no no okay i was shocked okay i was shocked only because it finally came out. Let me say this. I be paying attention to things. Couples who usually are always 
posting them, you know, posting themselves together, going here and there together. When you see them couples like slowly start to either not be seen together at all, and they're all of a sudden only posting things of themselves, usually that means something's going on. And when I seen her at the premiere of Harlem, and he wasn't there, I didn't see him there, and I was like, huh. Maybe he's busy because he's, you know, producing. He's producing a TV show right now that will be on BT Plus that is starring. Ooh, is Yolanda Adams? Is it Yolanda Adams? I think it's Yolanda Adams and then Sarai, the girl who was on uh, Empire. Um, they're in a. It's going to be like a gospel drama, whatever. Kurt Franklin is in it. Tamar Brack is in. It. So he's producing that and other things. I'm like, maybe he's just busy, okay? But again, a piece of me felt like something was up with them. I was like, maybe he's working through things, whatever. But today he posted. Not he posted, but today, you know, it came out that he filed for divorce from her again after nine years of marriage. The anniversary was actually on June 16th. And one of Megan's last posts was a uh, happy anniversary post of them again back there on June 16th. There was another post she made of them too around June 22nd of them like having dinner or whatever, but there was no other post of them together since then, okay? Now, Devon's last post, you know, with Megan, you know, in mind, was her 40th birthday, okay? And that was on August 8th. And he made four separate posts with having 10 photos each to show 40 photos of her over 40 years of life. Um, and I was like, that's, you know, so again, her last post of anything within them was, you know, in June for their nine year anniversary. And I'm like, oh, and it was her, like, you know, and the song was Brandy's song. Was it He Is? I think it, it was a brain song. It's, it's still there now, whatever. But that was her last post, you know, of them and him, you know, it being the birthday post to her. Now they both posted this joint statement together on both their pages today. Again, after the news came out is when they posted this. And that is a throwback picture of them. This picture was actually included in the, the anniversary um thing she posted back in June. Um so they, they both said, okay, after much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go into our future separately, but forever connected. We celebrate almost a decade of marriage together and a love that is eternal. There's no one at fault. We believe this is the next best chapter in the evolution of our love. We are incredibly grateful for the life-changing years we spent together as husband and wife. We are also extremely thankful to God for the testimony being created inside us both and for blessing our lives with each other. And that was their joint statements. Okay. That they both again they both posted the exact same thing. Um and <sighs> I was like, dang, I love them as a couple. But again, sometimes things don't work out. You know, sometimes things are forever for one reason or the other. Now, they both are saying how, you know, no one's to blame. And I do think people don't realize sometimes people do really grow apart. Um, and it may not be anyone at fault. It's like you want to still be friendly, okay, and leave when you want to kill each other. Okay, so we wish the both of them the best, the best, the best in life, um, in love, and you know, and within their breaking up and divorcing or whatever. Even though they may now break, be in great spaces, you know, they had to be a part of this that was like hurtful to them both or whatever, because it's, it's it's end of a marriage. Um, so we just wish them both for this happiness. Because it's like, nigga, it's Christmas is Saturday. That Christmas is literally four, no, it was three days away, okay? And it's like, damn, you couldn't wait to file, you know? <sighs> but some people say you want to file before the 10th year. You know, I think it's like once you get to 10 years, you know, something. So I think that may be why. Again, they just hit nine years in June. So 10 years, it would have been, you know, in June. So I guess so. And maybe I get some time to get the divorce finalized. Um, but again... We wish them the best, okay? Bless their little hearts. Bless they hearts, okay? Uh, Aisha, Inst look, the fact that Aisha Steph Curry 
Okay. Y'all be tripping. Y'all be tripping. And this this is a pet peeve of mine when it comes to the world of blogs and YouTubers and, and gossip shit or whatever. People will hear a rumor and run with it. Won't look up no proof. They just run and run and run. And because someone said, oh, Aisha and Steph Curry has open marriage. They already have an affair. Not affairs. But they have, you know, these other relationships and these little rendezvous or whatever. And, you know, it's all hush, hush. It's a, it's a secret open marriage. I was like, okay. And this is my thing. I'm not saying that people may not have things in their life that's a secret that we don't know about. There may be many of folks who have secretly uh, left their marriages unopened. Okay, but that ain't none of our business. But this is the thing about this. Is my issue with this is my face. Um, there was no. Pro- it was. It was like someone said something, and people ran with it, and then it was trending on Twitter. But only Aisha was trending because y'all like poor people or whatever. And to kind of drag. Oh, she said she wanted to be acknowledged by the men. She. I'm like. <sighs> so y'all gonna make it seem like oh. They open and it's because she wanted to see other men. Oh, they open because Steph and won't bad women. I'm like, why? Why do y'all do that? Why can't some folk sit back and wait to see what's going on? Okay, I like I need to see what they. I'm like I need to see where it came from. I need to. I need the source. Okay, I found. Okay, so this little website or this little IG page, or whatever. I can't pronounce it. It's D E U X. M O I. Okay, they're on IG or whatever. Now they posted this anonymous email that was sent to them. Okay, and the subject is chefs on and off the court. Okay, and it says the message hey, hey, message. Okay, have it on very good authority that this well known NBA couple aren't as faithful and in love as their social media and image may make them out to be. Okay? They both have sad hookups and flings but keep it very private to keep up the perfect family image they show to the world. I was shocked to learn they've been together for so long. And I get, as you see, the subject says chefs on the court. And I get what that could lead you to think whatever. But nowhere in this anonymous ass, random ass email from some random ass stranger does it say, you know, Steph Curry or Aisha Curry. You know, no, they name ain't nowhere around here. And from this right here, people was on social media running with, oh, it was revealed that they have a secret rendezvous, you know, unfaithful, open. I'm like, that ain't what nobody says. No one said them in particular, so why y'all running with a story that can ruin someone's marriage, okay? Who does that? What was the point of doing that? Why? 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 This is also the thing. If y'all can see the little screenshot of the page, the D-E-U-X-M-O-I page, the status under the thing says, cult curators of pop culture. It then says statements made on this account have not been independently confirmed. This account does not claim any information public is based on facts. When you have that posted as like your base, your, your mission statement, okay? It means we post BS every day. Don't believe us. Don't don't quote it as fact. Don't do that because it may not be true. We have not looked into anything that we said, okay? Nothing. That's why I'm looking like people out here then put up, they have an open man. I'm like, y'all just really didn't rewrote these people's whole lives. They have children. What about the children? I was like, people, bloggers, YouTubers, um, gossip websites or whatever. 
pause. You do not have to be the first one to say, I heard so-and-so, but it's allegedly. No, calm down sometimes, okay? Because had people not ran with it, we wouldn't have to report about it really not being factual right now. And again, it does not mean it could not be true to who, for whoever, but we have to stop putting uh, so much emphasis on well, someone, someone, someone said this, so it could be true. No, because if that's the case, I could be a whole bank robber. But I'm a good prop from banks. I would hate for someone to say, you know, they need to be robbing banks. I'm like, but I don't. No, I don't. She could. No, no, the fuck I couldn't. No, ma'am, not me. Okay. I just want people to not always think the worst first and say, well, it's possible. It is. But no, I didn't, not with me. I didn't rob no bank. No. Leave me alone and stop putting people's cooch and penises to, to, in openness. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, after them, okay, lastly, I want to get into Portia and Dennis. <laughs> now, this is a photo of Portia, Portia and Dennis when they were dating, okay? When it was all in love, okay? I loved him. He loved me, too. Okay? So, well, first of all, first of all, okay, make sure to do what? <laughs> Y'all yeah, know he's in water. Okay, so back to Portia and Dennis. Thank you for liking the video. Um, so Portia posted on her page. It was a photo of her employer, Club BJ, and this is the caption. Okay, it said, "Hey loves, now you all know by now I don't address too much of what's happening on the show because I rather you just enjoy what it's meant for entertainment. Okay, entertainment. Okay, uh." But because of a future low, uh, a few because of future low life accusations made by Dennis of me, um, on the show, I want to make it known that yes, my daughter was in Mexico with me, and she is she is majority of the time when I travel as a single mom. But as you can, girl, but as you can imagine, after the first dinner, I saw this how crazy it was going to be, and chose to keep her off camera while I was there working on the show. However, however, we stayed in Mexico an extra week uh, as a family. You know, we, meaning me and my fiance, um, we were blended or whatever, enjoyed the rest of our vacation. I'm a damn good mama and I always have my baby girl close no matter what. She is my world and my purpose and for anyone to raise a question against that shame on you and whoever raised you. Okay, I'm done. Good night. Please, guys, keep talking Keep tweeting. The show is doing well, and I'm glad you all are entertained. Let's break this down. Okay, first of all, the show is meant for entertainment. So, y'all bullshitting with us? Is that what it is? I don't care. Um, Not only that, her saying, you know what I'm saying, shame on anyone. Okay, no, shame on you and whoever raised you. His mama? Poor should have said, fuck you and fuck it. Beef on sight, okay? Um... Now, we like, what happened? Because she posted this after the show aired Sunday. Okay, so I'm like, like, well, I don't remember him saying anything negative about Portia. Like, did I miss something? But again, yeah, she said it's a, it's a future, you know, thing, something happened in the future. So I was like, girl, what happened? What's going on? And so she was commenting in her comment section, okay? He was like, what did he say? What did Dennis say? And poor, she said, it's a coming up. Uh, we just filmed it. Disgusting. Not even sure if they would air it. It's, it's that it was that trifling. I'm just making it clear. Don't ever come from the parent, the primary parents. Someone else has, okay, not everything but the single mom part. Your baby daddy is a millionaire, and so is your fiance. And Portia then said, I literally have no idea how much he makes. Pretty sure it's not millions. What millionaire doesn't pay child support on me daycare and buys fake Rolex? I say fake Rolexes. It don't take time. It, what's going on? And this is the thing with this. Um, the fact that they're still filming the show now. I'm looking like, really? 
Okay. I mean, I guess. Cause I, I don't I don't see why you're still filming, but I'm gonna leave that be that's on them to film or whatever. But you know, I'm like, what did he say that could piss her off or the whole post and behind he ain't shit? Is my main shit, and she's the primary parent. It's her daughter, and don't ever question her motherhood. Okay. Now, even her saying how, uh, you know, the she don't how much he make, but she know it ain't that much because you know he don't pay child support. Now, I do wonder because Portia also makes a nice sum of money, and because maybe they just not go to court. Is that why you don't pay child support? Because why don't you pay child support? I mean, that's a good question. What, what did you did you want child support? Is where because usually child support comes into play when you have a, a parenting plan and some court things happen. So have y'all narrowed the court to put in place who pay what? Girl, put that man on paper. Put that man on paper. But if they have to in custody, okay, and they both have or have time, they both take care of her, and he also does not require anything of her, I'm like, is that why? Because y'all have, you know, y'all share custody. So y'all both are are taking care of her, you know, on your own. I don't know. Okay. Her point was he can't be no no man making millions if he ain't paying me child support. Okay. And buying fake I'm like a fake Rolex. Who got a fake Rolex? Girl. Someone then said, but isn't he the one who bought you a $750,000 and gave a ring? Come on now, he can't he can't afford a Rolex. And then Portia said, oh, it was about 100 and it could never be sold. Meaning the engagement ring only was $100,000, not seven fifty, and she could not resell it. Judah said it was severely treated and apparently they removed the ring from the setting. It would, it would break its glass? He gave you glass? I, of course, gave it back when engagement was off. Girl, he gave you glass? Crystal? Crystal, girl, not the ring would break. The diamond, the diamond would break? Girl, it's fragile, okay? Someone else then said, but he buys the real Versace robes. She then said, I bought that robe. And the following week, I found out he had, every, he had rehired the employee he was sleeping with. He only wore it for the pick that one day. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Girl, Portia out here telling all the secrets, okay? One, he does a child support. The ring was glass, okay? She bought the robe. Girl, $100,000 for a cheap-ass glass ring, girl. But if she's saying this because she's mad, or is it true? I need to see, where's the where's the jeweler? Okay, where is the jeweler of the ring? And where did the fake Rolex come into play? Who got a fake Rolex? Now this is the thing. Dennis is from Detroit. Dudes from Detroit can try to flex, okay, and be fake or whatever. But I'm like, but how? So is so was the whole relationship fake? Because you said the ring is fake, the Rolex was fake. He don't pay down. He don't pay child support. So you think this ain't shit, basically. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I guess she figured if he gonna talk to about me publicly on a show, I can do that to him. Because at the end of the day, the daughter gonna see it all. Gonna, gonna see it all. So I'm like, I need y'all to stop it. Okay, so please stop it. Because no one wins when the family feels, but I'm like, Dennis, whatever you said, whatever way you question Portia's motherhood, you know, pissed her off, and she don't like it. Not at the all, okay? Not at the all. Now, Portia, if he come on here and just say something like, I can't believe you had Simon around my child, and we don't know that man like that, that's fair. That's fair. The only way he can question something is saying, you know, maybe you should have that man around my child. Anything, that's the only acceptable thing I would say he could have said, but question her in any other way, nah. Because I think we all know that Portia loves her daughter and is a great mom. We always see her with PJ. That's great, great, great. But we all still say we don't know Simon that well. And he a stepfather already? Okay. If you say so, so again, we'll have to wait and see 
what was said, how it was said, if they let it air. I feel like maybe she said this to make sure they play it, okay? Because now the, the or is she doing that for more ratings for us to keep watching to see if it plays? Because some folks are saying her show ratings aren't too well, that even the reviewers are watching it, okay? It may not be as many people watching because it's a, it's full of fucking foolishness, okay? Full of fucking fool, full of it. All up and through, okay. Um, uh, but I'm gonna leave that beat. So that was all I had for y'all today, okay. I will get into some other stuff um later on this week. Well, probably on Thursday. I'll probably have a bit of gossip things on Thursday, you know, and then we'll get to the games and whatnot. But again, do not forget this Thursday on my channel, okay, at 9 30 p.m. Game night live chat with black car revokes and bad choices or whatever. Come have a good old time with me. Okay, come good time with me. Um, do not forget to like this video. Okay, please and thank you. And other than that, I will see you when I see you. Peace.